Benjamin Moore made this color their color of the year for 2021. Let's find out why. The color code is 2136-40. We got the code, now let's get to cracking. Today's Benjamin Moore color is a special one because it was given the prestigious title of being their color of the year for 2021. AG and Teal, alongside the other Benjamin Moore 2021 color trends palette, are really an interesting group of colors that are largely made up of warmer leaning colors. And the one color that they selected happened to be the coolest of the bunch, but more on that later. We're going to go over some fun color pairings for AG and Teal, a suitable trim color or two, and finally, the all important, where and how should you use this color in your home? The color of the year in general is supposed to represent where we're at design-wise right now and moving forward into the upcoming year. I'm not too surprised to see a cooler leaning color because the cool color palette tends to represent serenity, calm, and an overall soothing quality. You'll notice that many spas tend to opt for the sort of blue, green, teal tones in their color palettes because the goal is to relax. And after 2020, I'm sure we could all use a trip to the spa, especially this guy. What? I like the spa. As a teal, Aegean teal is a fair balance between blue and green, but it also introduces an element of gray, which tones down the saturation a decent amount. When you compare this color to other more saturated teals, you really start to see that in the grand scheme of things, it isn't overly bright and dynamic. But like any color, its impact will largely be dependent on its surroundings. So when you have it against very plain neutrals, that's where Aegean teal will really start to stand out. I eat too many goldfish. I mean, the cracker is not uh, actual goldfish. <laughs> Taking a look at its LRV, it comes in at 23.96, which puts it in the bottom quarter of color depth. It reflects under 25% of the light that hits it, which will technically make it feel rather dark. Although I find its bit of green warmth has it read more like a darker mid-tone color. And this is good news because mid-tones are typically easier to work with than those deep, dark colors, which are more so limited to accent or feature wall usage. Aegean Teal has enough life to it where it can be used a little more liberally, especially alongside other colors. On that note, let's talk about some colors that seem to go really well with Aegean Teal, which is a mega important consideration. Whether you're starting from scratch with your color palette, or maybe you want to incorporate this color of the year in an existing palette, knowing which colors it goes with allows you to utilize it more effectively. The first place I would start is to simply observe the Benjamin Moore Color Trends palette for 2021. There are several options for you that have been handpicked by Benjamin Moore themselves, which can help you coordinate your color palette quite easily. And just from a glance, I can already see that there seems to be a resurgence of warmer undertones like the beige gray muslin or the golden green Beacon Hill Damask or the vibrant sunny gold Chestertown buff. Warmer tones like this tell me that Benjamin Moore is coercing us into utilizing Aegean teal in a perhaps more complimentary nature, where before you might just use a blue green teal with other cooler grays. And then you would just double down with a deeper, more saturated color, but along the same lines. Now it really seems to me that these earthier, more nature associated palettes are coming back as we drift away from the uber modern, industrial, constructivist, silver gray color palette from years ago. There is another color that I would like to add that is somewhat of a middle ground between warm and cool. In fact, it could be a pretty perfect transition color that can help blend an already established gray color scheme that maybe you're already using in your office or everywhere in your home, but you wanna introduce some of these soothing greens and blues. And the color that I would use to do this is Prescott Green HC140. In a way, you can almost call it a fusion of a Gian Teal and Beacon Hill Damask, two color trends colors, because you can tell it has that warm green base, but it's toned with a cool blue gray to make it feel like a minty sage green. I really like this color pairing because I know there's a lot of you that are working with a lot of cooler grays in your home, and maybe those grays aren't just limited to your wall colors. It's a lot harder to change the color of the furniture you already purchased or that brand new expensive gray flooring you installed. It's not always easy to just flip a switch and completely change up your color palette just like that. So it's about finding those perfect colors that can help smooth that transition from your old love of gray into your more saturated, more colorful hues that'll really put a smile on your face. So I'm giving Prescott Green a thumbs up and hopefully you can give us a thumbs up by clicking that button down there as we move right along to some potential trim colors. If we look at the Benjamin Moore Color Trends palette, 
you could just go and pick the lightest one and just use that on your trim. The problem is you'll find that atrium white is probably a bit too beige and also peachy when paired with AG and teal. Don't get me wrong, they make a beautiful pair, just not so much on the woodwork and the walls. I would much rather like to see a trim color that has more of a sunny warm quality to it in the form of yellow based undertones because that'll further accentuate the cool soothing nature of AG and Teal while also working with any other yellows, creams, reds or greens in your overall palette. For a slightly more tinted off white selection, I would encourage you to consider White Dove for your woodwork. You know me, I love White Dove, especially on cabinets, but it's also really great as a doors and frames and baseboard color when paired with AG and Teal because there's such a vast amount of contrast where they'll really work together in a subtle complementary nature which will enhance the warmth in your trim and the beautiful tranquil vibe of that teal. If you're still enamored with a cleaner white on your woodwork, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I promise. <laughs> Although I wouldn't necessarily go with the brightest white in that case. Oxford white is a more suitable choice to me because of that touch of gray, which softens the vibrancy and also has a touch of that warmth still inside, which is more of a subconscious amount of yellow, but it's enough to prevent it from going blue because your walls are gonna have more than enough blue to go around. <laughs> and now for the all important question, where and how should you use AG and Teal in your home? Now, like I said, I found it curious that the color of the year happened to be the coldest color within that 12 color palette that Benjamin Moore announced. It was surrounded by reds, beiges, yellows, and greens, yet this is the one that really stood out. I think what they're trying to tell us is when you use this color, it is meant to stand out. It is meant to be more of an accent or a feature color amidst more warmer leaning color palettes. I don't mean this is only good for accent walls, it's just that wherever you use it, especially if you use it more selectively, it will have that wow factor. I find AG and Teal is used best when paired alongside much lighter, warmer creams and any of those warmer brass, copper, or rose gold tones. It's much easier to put it on a large wall when it's also partially covered by some beautiful linen or ivory drapes or creamy colored chair railings. The number one place I could see it is definitely on kitchen cabinets. This is an area that your guests will likely see, and hopefully, if your cabinets are nice, you'll be happy that the color will accentuate those delicate edges and textures of the cupboards and drawers. It's also a huge departure from the fairly recent trend of white or off-white kitchen cabinets, which have become immensely popular. And you don't need to use it on just the island or the bottom half of your cabinets exclusively. Why not just paint them all that beautiful teal color? For a deeper dive on the rest of the 2021 color trends by Benjamin Moore, you can check out our video right over here. I also did a three minute rant on AG and Teal on our Instagram IGTV page, if you're interested on some of my personal thoughts on it. Link below if you want some additional daily content from us.